Hey you guys, welcome. This is Marlene and you're on the Marla Grace Creations page. Welcome to my page. Um, I'm going to give everybody just a few minutes to hop on. I'm just a couple minutes late. Yeah, I am a couple minutes late. They probably think I'm not on. So anyway, we're going to do, let's see, tonight we're going to do um, a couple of door hangers. And possibly, hey, Lane, how are you? Uh, possibly remake a bean can, a big bean can. Hey, bon uh, Connie, I started to call you Bonnie. Hey, Connie. Um, hey, Sue Ellen. Hey, you guys. Hey, Sandy. How are you, Sandy? I hear you had an eventful day. I know he can't talk to me right now, but... I'll check on you later. Hey, Stacy. Um, I'm good. I'm good, Connie. Um, I've been painting, painting, painting. Um, I've been ripping fabric. You guys like to rip fabric. Um, there's something satisfying about ripping fabric. So, anyway, I ripped this because this is a getting this stuff ready for a project and this is stuff ready for a project and I didn't get this ripped yet but it's fun to rip fabric especially if you're mad at somebody hey Emma uh, or you just have anxiety or you're bored or whatever just rip some fabric I hope everybody's had a great day let me see if I can turn this thing around Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. Y'all, look at that. I look weird, though. It looks, everything looks real weird. Okay, I'm not sure. I guess I need to be, I don't know. When I turn the thing around, I'm going backwards. And it's really, really different. Okay, now, it's really hard. Um, anyway, yeah. <laughs> Um, if I hold something up, though, guess what? Y'all can read it. How about that? It's always good when you learn something, right? So, um, okay, i got to get you back. Where are you? There you go. Notification tonight, but still nothing for private group. Um, I have not been on the private group, but I may go on the private group after this. So, um, if, hmm. I'll let you know when I'm done with this. If we get done in time, I have some stuff we can do in the private group. I'd like to um, do some ornaments and gift tags, um, all different kinds. What do you think? Hey, Jennifer, how are you? So, um, anyway, let's get started so we can get this done. And we might just do a couple of these door hangers and then um, go on over to the private group and do the flower uh, not the flower pot, the Christmas tree pot to put a Christmas tree in. So, um, I'm going to have a hard time staying in the middle of this screen. So, it's kind of strange. Good. Good, Jennifer. Okay. I got these ice skates. And I've already done a lot of this before you. So, I will t show you what I did. All I did, they were just wood grain. All I did was took... Um, let's see, I put some dots of paint for the shoestring area, and I painted this silver, kind of a gray, and I'm going to put some glitter on it, and, um, painted the snowflakes. So, that is going on this. But, you know, the way shoe, um, skates are hanging, it's really from the shoestrings from the skates. You know, if you hang them on a hook, if you throw them over your shoulder. So I'm going to paint that white. And then I'm going to put some fuzzy fur on top of that, some glitter on that. And then we're going to embellish this. And then we're going to work on another one. So let me just move this out of the way so I don't get paint on that. Let me plug my hot glue tool in. I keep cutting one of my lights off. It must have a, a short in it or something. Let's try that again. 
Okay, it's back on. Um, I'm good. Hey, Carolyn, how are you? Okay, let me get a paper towel under this because I don't want to have that all over the back of that, but I want to paint this string white. So let me grab some white. Hey, Diane. I'm just gonna put a little bit of white because I'm not gonna need very much in a plate. That's all I'm doing over here is just, um, hey, Nancy, my light, let's see. That light keeps doing this or something. It might be because I'm on the opposite side. Let me turn that around, see. Is that, is that lighting weird? Hmm, I don't know. I know we got it straight, that's all I care about, so. I'm good, I'm good. I just wanna paint this jute rope white because we're gonna pretend that it is the shoestrings from the skates. They would not be really on a rope, you know? If y'all hear something clanging around in there, my, um, I've got a rug in the washer and it's not happy, so ain't nothing I can do about it right now. Okay, I'm just getting some white on that. Hey, Terry. Hey, Sheila. Sweetie's Creations is here. Let me just get the paint on this jute. Let's see who else. Tina. And Ashley K. Okay, how are y'all? Okay, that's wider than it was. You know what? I don't need a little more white on the top of this. I don't like the way that looks. Looks like it's not finished. Let me just get a dab of white on there. Because you can't touch it up after you put it down on the red. Um surface there's no way you're gonna touch that up so let's just do it now these little skates are cute and you know i believe they came from the dollar tree and they're good solid wood the dollar tree stuff this might have been a three dollar thing i cannot remember if it was if it was one of the dollar 25 or the three dollar but it's um good wood it feels like good wood I love skates. My favorite thing, I think, in the winter to, is skates and mittens. I love skates and mittens to um, decorate things. Okay, that ought to be enough. Okay, let's see. Let me get some glitter on these blades because, again, I don't want to do all of this on that red surface over there. So, let me get some montage. Hey, Stacy. Thank you for sharing, girl. And of course, I got the Mod Podge that hadn't been opened before. Of course I did. Why would I not? <laughs> there we go. Okay. I'm just going to use this brush. And I am going to put some Mod Podge on these blades. They've already been painted kind of a silvery gray. And so that'll show up good when it's dry, I believe.
How are you, Sheila? Hey, Jerry. Yay, you caught me live. Hey, Pinky. Hey there. All right, while this is good and wet, let me, that's a little, Mod Podge gets these little thick things in there sometimes. Where is my glitter? Hmm. I'll tell you what, I know I put it back in the right place. Oh, I did. Can't see nothing tonight. Now I have new glasses. I should be able to see this stuff, right? I'm going to do this on a paper towel. That way I can just dump it on the paper towel. Sometimes I put it back if I'm in here crafting by myself, but uh, I'm not tonight. I'm just going to dump this. And I don't use Diamond Dust because I worry about kids and dogs and stuff. This is extra fine diamond powder. And so it looks like diamond dust. It's not quite as thick, but it's real, real fine. And it it just really glistens. It's real pretty. I get that at Hobby Lobby. So let me dump that off. Get that out of my way. It doesn't matter how careful you are. This stuff just gets everywhere. Okay. So when that starts drying on there, that'll be real pretty. Guys, when y'all are sharing me out, if you have a button that says public, or sharing me to your page or something like that. You, that's what I would love for you to do. I know sometimes when I'm on pages and I say, you know, I go down to the share button. Thank you, Emma. I appreciate that. Hey, I got a thing for, for, for stars. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, goodness, I picked that up at Dollar Tree the other day, and my daughter says, Hey, Mom, now you got something to to do when somebody gives you stars. I'm like, okay. <laughs> hey, Barb, how are you, sweet girl? I hope you got some dinner. Okay, I think my hot glue tool is heated up good. I cut some fur. Yes, I did. You know, everything I go to get ain't where I thought it was. Oh, my goodness. Where is my stuff? This is absolutely crazy. Oh, there it is. It's hiding. It's all here. I just have to hunt for it. Hey, Donna. Okay, I just had some of this faux fur. I bought a couple little um, mittens. Um, they're not um, they're not mittens. They were um, I guess stocking like stocking stuffer things. Anyway, it was a cute little mitten with little balls on it, and um, I just got those because it's a whole lot cheaper than a yard of faux fur, and I've been using it, and it works great. Oh, thank you, Terry. <laughs> I've, it's straight as a stick, but thank you very much. I'm letting it grow some, and I won't let it get much longer than this, I don't guess. Um, real short hair sometimes is a whole lot more work than longer hair. Hey, Sandy Rose. How are you, my friend? Okay, that's down good. And this stuff is fuzzy. Okay, so those, so far, that's what we have. We have glitter on the blades, and we have snowflakes, and then the fur. Okay, these are pretty much the way they're going to be. Okay, now I'm just going to lay these down the way I want them and glue them on. Boy, you can't touch this. stuff. Okay, I kind of want to be like this, and I want to turn this around 
make a little make a little circle there. Kind of like the way that looks. Maybe that way. Hey Sue, how are you? Okay, let me just get some hollow here and get this down. Get this kind of started. Hey Donna, welcome you guys. Okay, that is in place pretty much. Let me just get a little bit under that without putting my fingers on it. Did you have to paint the one skate because they seem to go the same way? They don't. They're they're not. Um, they are going. They're they're going. They're not going the same way. It's a pair. But when I get through doing this, however down they are down, that's the way they're going to be. Because there's going to be no getting them up after that. How big is the round? Um, you know what? Let me get this done and I will... Um, I can't seem to find any more of these. These are um, from the Dollar Tree. But to answer your question, Emma, I'll measure these for you in just a minute. My tape measure is across the room, but I'll grab it for you in just a minute as soon as I get this down. Okay, I kind of just want them like that. So, they're on there. Let me grab the tape, y'all. One second. It won't take me but one second. Don't leave me. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I got two pair. I wish I'd have got more, but I got two pair. This is a 14 inch round, and it's one of the thicker ones from Hobby Lobby, Emma. Um, you can get a six pack of thinner ones, and I use those too if that's all I can find, but I prefer the thicker ones um, if I can find them. Okay. Thank you, Carolyn. You're welcome, Emma. Okay, I took some of my greenery today. It was kind of a swag, and it was all crumpled up in a box. I pulled out a lot of my Christmas today. Um, I don't have it out to decorate yet, but I'm working on it. So I'm just going to start placing these where I want them. And I'm going to leave the back flat and fluff the top up so they'll lay down better. And this is just like part of an old Christmas tree. One good thing about it, you can make one side kind of flat and you can bend them how you want them. And I kind of like that. And then I'll have to have to make a bow. But let me get this much down. And then that'll be out of the way. So if you're at, um, say, if you're at um, Goodwill, or um, thank you, Sandy. I love skates, too. If you're at Goodwill and you find like an old wreath, you know, it looks kind of ratty, but the greenery, you think you can do something with it, grab it, because um, 
there's always, you know, maybe maybe the greenery's good, but the balls on it are ugly or it had fruit on it and it's really gross. And just think, okay, well, if I rip all that stuff off, let me hold that. If I rip all that stuff off, what will I have and can I use it? And nor, nine out of 10 times you can, you know, not if it's all nasty, dirty, dirty, dirty. I'm going to add that to it. See, that's pretty simple, and I'm not done, but see, that greenery, it's going to look good when I get a few berries in there. Hey, Beverly, how are you? And after this dries, you can bend this a little better. You know, you can play with it a little more, but let it dry first. Okay, I've got um, some berries over here. And I hadn't really decided if I wanted some red berries or some white berries. I have some of this. I think some of this might be pretty in there. Yeah, I like that. Let me cut it some. Where's my scissors? Good. Glad to hear it, Beverly. And these you get um, real inexpensive at Hobby Lobby. And it's a whole, I've used some off of this one already. So um, you can use, you can use it, use them for several projects. Emma, is it good to be home? Did you get all your stuff put away and all that good stuff? And this is like no rhyme or reason. I'm just getting it on here. So I'm just kind of weaving it in till it's till I like the way it looks. Hey Lynn. And I'm just putting some hot glue under these little balls, and that'll hold that onto the greenery. That'll work a whole lot better than trying to glue that little tiny stem on there. Okay, I've got a few more of these. Let's see. Let's make this one go this way. And you don't have to do it like I'm doing it. These, um, I just was thinking about the original skates, you know, the real skater skates used to be, I don't know how they are now, white, black soles, fur around the top, you know. Um, really got it all put today. Get to Hobby Lobby. Oh, 
I hope I don't have to go back to Hobby Lobby anytime soon. But um, I did good today, y'all. I really did good today. Um, this is going to be kind of a quick little bow. Let me find a piece of wire. Get in here in my drawer and cut me a piece of wire, y'all. Um, this is not going to be one of those great big bows with all the um, hundred loops and all that stuff. This is just going to be more simple. Hey, Marge, how are you? Probably missed all the good stuff. No, there's lots more. But I was doing good today. Well, I, do, I really did do good today, y'all. I had a list. I sent the ladies in my private group this morning a note and said, y'all, I'm going to Hobby Lobby and I really have a list. And Nancy says, oh, yeah, well, or Sonia, one of them said, good luck with that. And so anyway, I thought, no, I'm going to go in there with my list. And so I did. Well, I did really good. I had exactly what I was supposed to have in my buggy, except for they did not have the ink. So now this is this is the way I, um, what is the right word? Uh Compromise? No, that ain't the right word. Anyway, justified this. Um, they did not have the ink, except the great big one's $14. I'm like, no, it's not even on sale. I'm not getting that one. I'll do without till next week when it's on sale. And so I thought, okay, so I got a little tiny pack of, well, this is a cute little bow, y'all. Look at that. That's not bad at all. Um, so I got a pack of, snowflakes so let me get this on here and whoa let me get it straight and so okay i thought okay ink pads about six or seven dollars fits on sale snowflakes were about a dollar and a half i'm really coming out to the good here then I walked by the fall stuff, 75% off. So I thought, well, I really wanted some burlap leaves when I was looking for fall stuff, and they didn't have them. Let me just see if I can find them now. If they're 75% off, they probably won't be but a dollar something. Well, then they had paper mache pumpkin, y'all. So, but they were still only, um, with a discount, they were only... Like three dollars and something versus fifteen dollars. So, yay, Nancy! I'm getting better at this bow thing. I know this is not the way a bow maker would do it, but that's okay. I'm I'm turning into a bow maker. And um, you guys who are in here in the private group, y'all up to craft in a little while when I'm done here. I'll go over there and I have a something for us to do. Okay, let's see. You know, cutting a bow is tricky because if you cut it the wrong way, it comes out to a V. You have to really pay attention. Look at that pretty bow on that. Let's see. I think I need a little, even though it's an odd, it's a different number. Let me just get a little piece. I need a little bit of more 
green over here to match that side. It just kind of, it just kind of looks like there's too much red right here, so I'm gonna fix that. I get it crammed in there without putting my finger on it. Let that cool off. My Hobby Lobby has been out of paper mache pumpkins for a long time. Th they did here too. They must have found some more in the stock room or something. One of them has a little dent in it, but you know what? Um, pumpkins are not perfect anyway. They have little dents and bumps and stuff, and so it's okay. There we go. Now I've got to make a um, hanger for this. I'm not sure about the hanger. I'm going to worry about the hanger later. It might be white beads. And I'll have to string some white beads and paint them on all that. So for right now, I'm just going to do this one. Okay. The other night... Hmm. Okay, where's that thing? Oh, wow. This is fun. Um, I went ahead and painted it red and kind of marked it off, and I used the bottom of my... What? I used the bottom of my paint bottle to make these big polka dots. So, um, thank you, Carolyn. Um, I'm going to make these big polka dots lime green. And somewhere on this table is a cutout Merry Christmas that we did. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. The other night in our private group, I was teaching some of these ladies to do cricket. So we cut this out. And I'm going to see how it does. This is with the Dollar Tree uh, stuff. Do you remember, Patty? So for now, let's just get some lime green dots on this thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I think this is about as lime as I have. It's called Green Verde. It's probably going to take two coats on the dots because I'm sure with that red underneath, the first coat, when you're doing dots, it's hard. You have to just get a brush that you're happy with, that soft, that flows, that kind of thing. And um, you might start out with one brush. Hold on, I gotta get comfortable. You might start out with one brush and think, this is probably the perfect brush. And then when you get started, you'll be like, mm, no. And try another one. So I'm thinking between these two, one's bigger, one's little, probably, Hey, Trish, how are you? Probably one of these are going to make good circles. So let's try it. And what you do is watch the outside line. Don't pay attention to what's going on the inside. Just keep your eye on the outside line of your brush. Yeah, this is a good one. Where did you buy the ornament board? Um, Dollar Tree. This is another one of those wooden things. It's thin wood, but it's good wood. Um, Dollar Tree. We have a Dollar Tree, not in the little town where I am, but um, in the next little town over. And they have really good stuff. So I don't even fool with our Dollar Tree anymore. As a matter of fact, I went in there to get, um, wait, let me concentrate on this. I went in there to get, what was it I needed that I couldn't find anywhere else? Hmm. I don't remember now, but I remember I went specifically to get um, a certain thing. I'll think of it in a minute. And they had them. And I was so excited. Then the power went out. 
I thought, okay, well, I don't care. I'm not going nowhere because I've, I found them. I'm here. I'm not real close to home. I'm not far, but I'm not real close, and I'm not going nowhere. So I asked a lady, I said, um, do I have to leave the store? She said, no, I can tell by looking at you that you're not a shoplifter. I said, no, I'm not a shoplifter. But anyway, she said, uh, yeah, go ahead. I said, well, there's two of us in here, if you don't mind. We're just going to shop with our camera, I mean, our flashlight to our um, phone. She said, works for me. I'm like, okay. So we shopped in the Dollar Tree with the light from our phone for about an hour. And the power finally came back on. And y'all might be thinking, oh my gosh, that lime green and that red. I love this lime green and red together. So you'll see when we get all done. See how that pops? Isn't that, it's going to be pretty. I wish it was limer. Hey, Nancy, how are you? I wish it was even more lime than this, but it's okay. That is the limest green I have, so I'm just going to make it do. And if you don't have a turntable when you're crafting, y'all, you can get them cheap a lot of places. This thing has been through the ringer, and I just keep using it. And when you're painting a big surface like this, the best thing to use is a sponge. Looks pretty. I like lime green and red too. I do for Christmas. I, I really do for Christmas. Kind of reminds me of the Grinch, but that's okay too. Wow, I looked, my granddaughter started when we were out of town when my oldest granddaughter a few weeks ago had her little um, chorus thing, we took a movie, The Grinch Stole Christmas. Well, she wanted to watch it every night, so she did, of course. And um, she is now in love with The Grinch. And so my husband says, uh-uh, we don't like The Grinch. He's mean. He don't like Christmas. She said, uh-uh, Papa, he got nice at the end. He likes Christmas now. So, anyway, I was looking at, okay, there's a boo-boo, but I can touch it up with some red. Um, let's just make that a tad bigger and fix that. Um, the Grinch stuff in Hobby Lobby, my goodness, it's expensive. Hey, Margaret. I'm just concentrating, y'all. Painting circles. And then we'll put some white on this. Um, that trans, not transfer, this, the um, thing we made on the Cricut the other night with the Dollar Tree stuff, we're going to see how good it is. We're going to try and put it on this. I looked at this today and thought well, that would be a good experiment for that um, thing we cut out. Little Corner Creations. Welcome. I haven't heard that name before. Looks like fun. It is fun. Just make sure that you um, get the get get the brush that you're happy with, and it really should be kind of a rounded, fluffy, soft brush if you're going to do circles. So you your brush will flow. Can y'all see how my brush is bending? and just kind of stay in where I want it to go on the edges. Takes a little practice, but this um, 
Turntable is the thing. Crafting your heart niche. Welcome, you guys. I'm seeing a lot of new faces in here. I just thought I would like to do something happy and this green would pop on this red. And after it dries, we'll go back and put just a little, another coat real quick. You won't be able to see the red through that. Crafting. Oh, and Nancy. So you know Nancy. Okay, do I have hair on my brush? Guys, if you have a, a hair on your brush or anything on your brush or doing something like this, it will make a little line right outside of what you're doing. So if you see that you have um, a little hair on your brush, stop and take it out. And I might need one more circle here or there. And it's hard to tell till you start getting your circles painted. But I kind of looked around when I was putting my circles down. I think I have them where I wanted. Where I want them. Um, but it's easy because I use the bottom of my paint bottle to make my circles. Okay, it looks, looks pretty even to me. Look how bright that is. Hey, Kim, how are you? Okay, let me dry this and then we're gonna put one more coat of green on so we don't see the red through it. And then I'm gonna put, um, I think I'm gonna use the red cord. I'm not even sure where my red cord is. How are you, Kim? Gosh, I can't remember last time I was on your page. I just never, I don't catch you live. Thank you. That little snowman turned out sweet. Let me get that sweet little thing. I had this ornament from a friend and I thought, well, how cute would he be on that charger? So there he is. And we're gonna do this in my private group. So I've asked those ladies to get their paints together and get a charger from the Dollar Tree. He's pretty easy to do. He's just cute and whimsical. Steve and Stephanie. I take it that's Stephanie. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. You make it look simple. Oh, Margaret, it will be easy. It will be easy. It's just paint. If you look real close, you can see I've touched up a few places. I decided after the fact I wanted his hat a little bigger. It's easy. It's just paint. We're going to do it. Just get, um, I put um, over in the circle of friends. I put the colors I used. You can use any colors you want to. And just get a charger and we'll take our time and do it. Could you use a round dab? You could. You can do it however you want to. I just don't ever have much luck with those. Because sometimes um, you, you dab it down and then you pick it up and it wants to kind of splatter. Um, and I kind of just like painting circles. So do whatever makes you happy. You know, if 
If you enjoy dabbing and you don't like to paint in circles, then dab it. It's yours. You can do it any way you want to. You do you. And since we already have the pretty much background, this will go a lot faster than the first go round. And if you start in the middle, you won't get your hands in it. You notice I didn't. I mean, I did just then, but. And then I'm gonna take a black Sharpie and I'm gonna go around these. And then I'm gonna put some white highlights in here. This is a real easy door hanger, y'all. See, there's a little hair on my brush. Make sure you get those out. And I love this shade, too. Let's see. We'll check for colors. Went back to Hobby Lobby. Um, Margaret, unless you just don't have any paint, you can use any colors you want to. Um, so, are you talking about for Little Snowman, or are you talking about for this? Because I would like for his nose to be a little bit oranger than, than I made that one. And um, I'm going to do another one with you guys. So, it, so, for some of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I have a private group set up, and these ladies have joined that group, and we do all kinds of different stuff in that group. So, um, it's $10 a month, and we do all kinds of different stuff. Yesterday, I went live at the spur of the moment and gave them a really good recipe while I was throwing something together to take for a funeral we've been potting some christmas trees we're getting ready to make a bunch of ornaments paint the snowman all kinds of stuff and it's just easier to do some of that stuff in a private group because you need to take your time and um, somebody might need to ask the same question four times it's okay that's why we're there and when you're, you know, on this page, it's kind of hard to do that. People get aggravated, and they don't want to be slow, and they just want to see it done. And that's good, too. Are you doing the snowman tonight? Um, no, because everybody, Emma, don't have their stuff. Um, as soon as you guys who want to do it, tell me you're ready to do it and you have your charger and your paints, we'll do it. I don't care when. Okay, have I got all those? I think I do. I don't see red through them. Maybe that one a little bit. It might, this might have been the first one that I painted. But painting circles is fun. But you see, hey Leanne, how are you? But you see my brush, it's real, it's a real soft brush. And I don't use this for many things, but it's just, it's just like a fluffy brush. It's a good brush to do circles. Um, Oh, yeah. I won't, Emma, until everybody that wants to do it in the group says, I got my charger and got my paints, and we'll do it. There's no hurry. Just need a wipe. Hey, Sherry, how are you? Hey, Lorraine. Lorena, Lorena, I got new glasses and depends on where I'm sitting, I still can't see, but 
it's hard to see way over there, you know. When we put the black Sharpie around these, it'll really pop. And then we're going to put some white, just some little, little, you'll see, little lines that'll make it look like highlights in it. It's real whimsical. It's not, uh, there's nothing hard about it. Hey, Amy. Hey, Cheryl. How are you, sweet friend? I hope I don't do all this work and that thing we cut out on the Cricut don't work. <laughs> oh, that's going to be funny. Not funny. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do what I need to do with the Sharpie and get that done. And then we'll put... Um, let me get my ruler. I had, here's one. Good. You're feeling good, Cheryl. Y'all, I can't draw a straight line, so I use a ruler. And when you use a ruler and you put it right on your line, you can't use a Sharpie. It won't go in the right place. So for it to go on your line, you have to have it away from your line. Just a speck. Perfect. Good. Good, good, Cheryl. Okay, let me get this one. Now, going around the circles is going to be a different story. You got to freehand that. I'm just staying away from that line just a speck. Not much. And it gets right on the line. Okay. Yeah, so what I did was just left this in the center for us to put the Merry Christmas on there. Now I'm gonna take this Sharpie and um, Julie Kambong. Let's see, sitting, mm, sitting in the heading pad, my right <laughs> because the pull muscle, oh my gosh, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear it. <laughs> uh, you're a trip, girl. See the difference in the ones I'm putting the black around and not? Can you see how it brings it out? y'all been married, Cheryl? <laughs> For y'all that don't know, Cheryl has a page. She's a mess. You need to go watch her. <laughs> um... She's our, what should we say? Uh, I guess we should say she's our comedy act. 28 years in January. That's good. That's good. We just made it to 42. I 
I keep praying we'll make it to 50. I thought, you know, I just want a 50, 50th wedding anniversary. You know, so we'll see. All right. I got those all covered without ruining them. Yay. So that's what we have so far. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the Merry Christmas on there. Try anyway. Let's, let's pray it sticks. This was the Dollar Tree vinyl. So, we really don't know how it's going to work. But we're going to cross our fingers and hope for the best. Hey, Hannah. Okay, let's see. I just need to kind of get this straight, and I can't go by my lines. Because they're not really... Okay, that looks good. Looks good, good, good. Let's hope I got it straight. Now, when I hold it up, I'll know if I did or not. <clears throat> All I'm doing is taking this tool and burnishing these letters onto this wood. Need to push really hard just to get it kind of down in the wood as much as you can. I started to do this, um, I forgot now what color I chose before, and I thought, well, that silver just wouldn't probably do so good on there. So, I think it's going to show up really good on this red. Hey, Jan. It's been working pretty good for me. What has been working pretty good for you, Leanne? I miss something. This Dollar Tree vinyl. I miss something. Oh, good, good, good. How long have you been doing cricket stuff, Leanne? I painted this earlier, so I'm hoping it's not going to start pulling off my paint. That's what I hope. Sometimes it does. Okay, let me turn it that way so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, yes. Y'all, I am very, very much impressed. It is, well... It's not as sticky, but it'll cure on here, I believe. I mean, it's not its not just laying there. It actually is stuck for the most part. Still a newbie. I've been doing my Cricut. I've been messing with that about mm, three or four years. And I still learn something new every day. And I still mess up. So, if that's any consolation to you guys, you will mess up. Trust me, you will mess up. You just have to smile about it and move on. You just have to do it again. So... I'm just pressing this on here really good. And then it'll just, I'll leave it alone, let it cure. Okay. Okay, I'm impressed. That's very pretty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now that is the Merry Christmas, you guys, that we cut out the other night in the private group. So, you remember I said, let's use it on a project, not now. So, there it is. And even though it looks white on there, it's very shiny. See how glitzy it is? It's beautiful. Guys, throw some hearts up over here. <laughs> I'm backwards now. If, if you're loving this, Facebook needs to see that. Oh, yeah. Um... 
it's trial and error. I mean, you learn something. I learn something new with mine every time, every every day. But they change everything. Thanks for the heart, y'all. Um, they change every time I turn around. They're updating, updating, updating. Hey, Virginia. Hey, Stacy. I think it looks good too, Stacy. Okay, let me get some white paint. Make some lines on those bubbles. No, well, those polka dots. And then, I love it too, Cam. Now that is Dollar Tree vinyl. I am impressed with that stuff. I want this white to be stark white, not cream. So I'm just using um, Snow White. It's just um, Deco Art Americana Snow White. And I need a really, really fine brush for this. So let me see what I can find. Um, here's a really fine brush. See how little, little, little that is. So I won't stick it in my mouth in front of y'all. I'll put it in the water. But normally to get a brush to stick together and get a point, I stick it in my mouth. Because that's what I was taught to do when it became a habit. Three years. Um, I've had mine for three maybe four years i'm thinking three valentine's maybe three i don't know okay i'm just going to make a line kind of on these bubbles going around and i'm not going to make the lines on the same side i'm going to move it around so this one is going to be down and this one might be up and this one might be on this side um I love these colors together too, Jerry. I do, I love them. So all I'm doing is following the line, kind of a fourth of the circle. See what I'm doing? Look at the difference. It just like makes it 3D. Hey, Joyce. I love this. I'd like to do this to a big door hanger, like a big round one. Hmm, I might just have to do this one again. Okay, do I leave one out? Sometimes I do. Nope, I didn't, I got them all. Sure, Cheryl. Sure. Okay. There. I love it. Isn't that cute? Okay, now I need um, something up here, and I want it to be silver. What do I have? Hmm. I was thinking I might have some silver. Hmm. Let me just paint it grayish. I'm just going to paint, paint it kind of a grayish silver. I was just making lots of t-shirts. Oh, yeah. Virginia, you don't need class, do you? You do that all the time. Um, t-shirts are actually easier to me because you don't have to fold with carrier sheet. You get to skip a step, you know? The hardest part for me making t-shirts is getting them on straight. Getting them high enough or low enough and on straight in the middle. I made one for myself um, for the craft show last weekend, me and my daughter both. At like one o'clock in the morning, we were, it was just crunch time. And um, it looked really good. And I put it on the next day, and my daughter's like, Mom, do you know how crooked that is? It wasn't really 
crooked, it was more to one side than the other, and it wasn't, um, it wasn't as noticeable probably to other people as it was to her because, you know, she does that too. Let's see. The ornament things always come down, don't they? Let's just make a couple of those because that will look more realistic. It does not go straight across. It's got that little... Yeah, that's better. There you go. Does that look more like a cap on it? Hey, Eleni, how are you? Um, some of you that are in here that are in the private group, are y'all up to craft in a little bit? Because I can leave here and I'm going to be done here in about five or six minutes. And I can go over to the private group and we'll finish up. Thank you, Trish. I'm loving this too. I may make a few more of these. I love these bright colors. Hmm. Let's see, where is my Sharpie pen? I think I need to go around that cap. Good idea, Donna. You are good, good. Okay, I love it, love it, love it. Thank you, Eleni. You can be there, Patty. What do y'all think? I absolutely love this. Love it, love it. Okay, y'all. Looks beautiful and festive. I think so, too. This is probably my very favorite one. Of course, you know it's got green on it. Lime green. So, and my favorite's not lime green at Sage, but this is close enough. So, I may end up having to do a big, like a big round door hanger like this. And I like that the Merry Christmas, it takes up all the space in the middle. Yeah, what do you think? Dollar Tree, yes, Dollar Tree. I bought two of these because I just wasn't sure what I wanted to do to it. Um, and that is not what I went in the store to find, but whatever it was, I found. Hmm, I don't remember now what it was. Something I needed and couldn't find anywhere else. So, anyway. All right, and this was the other one. And I'm going to put some white bead door hanger on this, I think. White or red. So, there's the other one we did. And see, the skates have fur and glitter on the... Um, what do you call them? What do you call them? Blades. So, there you go. All right, you guys. Merry Christmas is perfect. Oh, thank you. The, the Merry Christmas is good. It did good. I am real pleased with that. So, I'll be using the Dollar Tree vinyl some more. It is, it is. All right, you guys. If you're seeing me right now on that live, whoa, that live button's still there, I'm live. But if it's not, of course, I'm not live, and you're catching the replay. If you'll do me a favor, hey, Joy, you just came on, and I'm leaving. Um, if you um, are... Um, I got distracted. I should have kept on. Anyway, if you're watching me right now, chances are you're watching the replay. Just type in hashtag replay and um, I'll answer any questions that you might have. And I'll try it. Let's see. Tomorrow's Friday. I've got a craft show Saturday. I doubt I'll be back on until Monday for y'all. So Bible study tonight. Here's what we just did, Joey. 
Isn't that pretty? I love these colors together. I'd like if it was even more lime green. And then this was the other one. So, the skates. All right, you guys, have a great night. And um, a circle of friends, I will meet you on the, the uh, private page in just a few minutes. See you there. Good night, y'all. And if any of you are interested in the private group, if you'll send me a message, let me know. I'll be glad to answer questions for you. Good night.